What's the limit for you when it comes to banter? There's no limit to banter. Banter is banter. What? No, no, there's no limit. What? What? If you can't take the banter, why are you here? Don't squeeze my bum. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, white boy banter is different from black boy banter. <laughs> and I've, black listen, boy banter I, is I've had to get used to it, innit? I've had to white get used to it. White boy banter is physical. Full of love. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, Bubba Tunde fell asleep, so you know, I just laid on top of him naked. Why would you do that? <laughs> Bro. I shaved his pubes. Why was I naked? Why? Why? Black guys don't enjoy life no, like white guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, this is it. I feel, I feel like I wish I was a bit more free. No, and I don't. In my banter sometimes, because I, I feel like people enjoy life. Like for example, I, I was in a club, getting you know, me just coming out having a yeah, yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. He goes, yeah, you're a great dancer, aren't you? And oh my, I just just. Like, Alan, don't that do that. Alan. Diff- <laughs> that resonated different. <laughs> always been like quite freaked out by money stuff and it wasn't until recently mm-hmm. I realized that the tears the anxiety the fear does not build the account no no it that doesn't. does not make money it doesn't when we came back from Edinburgh I was really happy because mm. my account actually mm. was plus and I was like uh, turn up for what? I got money I now. Got money. I got money now. I was like, making it rain just all on myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then that lasted like two weeks. I was like, oh shit, we're back in the old draft again. Go. That's the thing. It's so, it's so whatever it is. It's so unstable that it's like, you can't allow yourself to be like emotionally gripped by it. Or yeah. you just be like, wah, 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 yeah. all over the place. And it's like, oh my God, there's money in my account. It's going to be there forever. And you realize, oh no shit, I've got to pay some bills. Nothing lasts forever. Even how shitty you feel today. I used to be so, like, frightened by how big my feet are. <laughs> <laughs> I am a size seven and a half. I'm an eight. I'm very, I'm tall. You are an eight. Yes. I'm, I'm, an, hey, I'm a size she's eight. A nine. Come on. I'm a size eleven. <laughs> and I would like going to buy shoes in a shop. I would be like sweating. I'm like, <laughs> they're like, would you like size eight? A normal size for a woman. And I was like, <laughs> My feet look quite bad, and you know there's like dainty little heels with the little because it looks like uh. you try to put like a boat in some heels. <laughs> All of my friends are like, oh, my feet mine's like size three feet, like it's really hard to buy shoes. I have to go to the kids section, and I'm like, I have to go to the boat section and buy boats. Um, and the sales were my face. Um, but the, oh, it's the worst. But now I don't even think about it, and I don't understand why I wasted so much of my time being yeah. like, ugh, my feet, because no one cares. Do you have anything that you were anxious about? Oh God, I was anxious about everything. I would say probably like a, a lot of like body stuff. I still oh, thoroughly God. hate my body yeah. in every Do single you? way and aspect. But then I think year after year, I'll get like a new insecurity. So like I, my, I, I hated my calves for a good like four to five years. Looking up calf reduction surgery. <laughs> And Save it up. Like, how to make a baby cow smaller? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also getting framed for a crime. Do you ever like listen to maybe like a too many too, too many like murder podcasts, and then you're like, what if I just get stopped at the border and there's just like a shit ton of cocaine in my bag? <laughs> Oh, that scene in Bridget Di- uh, Jones' Diary 2, the yeah, second one, says, with yeah. the snake and the cocaine in it. Yeah. Genuinely, I was like, this is funny, but also, what if it can happen to any of it us? It could. That's why they say, you, did you pack your own bags? And you have to not be like... And a bit like, no, Renee's out working. No, Renee's out working. Do you think we'd make good psychiatrists for each other? No, you <laughs> <didn't know> that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you just said that. No. I was about to say the same thing. You, first of all, yeah. you don't like the fact that when I talk to you, I'm very physical. You don't like that. No, yeah? it, no, 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 no. I'm just no, trying no, to get no. your attention. Oh, like, that's what I said. Like. Bruh, listen to me. I'm trying to get your attention. Like, there's moments where it's like, but I'm excited. in your face. I'm matter. right in your face. This is the thing. I'm in, oh, no, 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 no. It's you passionate. can't be passionate about saying hello. Like all the time. If I haven't seen you in a long time. No, 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 but you we see each other. How Yeah! We always see each other. Stop it. So you don't need to be like Baba today. Hey, my friend. Because you don't need to do that. That's affection. That's love. Anyway, I couldn't sort out your your life because and I'm just if people knew how mean, not mean, but how ghetto I am, they would never talk to me, you know. <laughs> And you know this because you're my friend. Yeah, I couldn't trust you. Just the bottom line, I couldn't, I couldn't trust, trust you, trust you with my mind. I don't think I'd be a good therapist. I think I'd talk too much. 
And I have so many preconceived notions that I'll just like project them on people and I'll be like, you want to fuck your mom? Like, whatever you say, <laughs> I already know. I sh <laughs> <laughs> There's this myth about people in London being like ignorant. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, f I thought that was a bit of a myth, but that's, that is pretty true. Like when you're on the underground, no one acknowledges anyone. And if you smile at someone, they look at you like you're a complete lunatic, right? And in the North, that's not the way. Like, I can sit, I can literally get on a bus, which is like where I'm going half an hour away. I can get on, I can smile at someone, get in a conversation with them. About 20 minutes into the journey, I'm agreeing to be like godfather to the firstborn. And then, like, end of the journey, we've swapped numbers, Facebook friends. The North is friendlier than the South. You, have you noticed that? Yeah, that's what happens when everybody's unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, happy. I don't mean it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. What do you reckon, though? If someone it. smiles at you on, 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 the, on the tube, what's your response? If someone lets on to you, or just when I say let on, do you know what I mean? Just gives you a nod, or how's your day? I'll be like, he's from the North. <laughs> It's just weird and creepy. Don't do not do that. Oh my God, this I is why the world's the way it is, man. Because people aren't speaking to one another. I mean, you, you'll converse, people converse with people in a, in a comment on, on Facebook or YouTube or something. Do you know what? Some people don't even have anyone speak to them all day. You might be the only person who goes, you all right? They might go, yeah. And that's the only time they have a conversation with someone in a week. What's it, it like? It's true though, I, I, I agree. Because I think life is slower pace, maybe up north and in London. Every time I think I say about the north sounds insulting, but I'm, I'm not trying to. It's just what I notice when I yeah. travel out there. People, you know, they go about their days a bit more relaxed, calmer. Hey, so London. you don't have someone pushing you down the escalators if you're walking down on the wrong side. Oh yeah. You, you probably won't have seen this if you've not lived in the north, but yeah. you can go down an escalator. You can put your hands on both sides and just take in the day and just relax, man. It's amazing. We have to go on holiday to experience that. London. Yeah, it's a Wigan. People are just <laughs> nah, but people are just more like so competitive here. The people who move to London are just the most like you know a lot of them a lot of all but a lot of them are very ambitious, competitive, driven people. They don't yeah. have time to smile at you on the tube unless they want to fuck you. <laughs> it's a problem too. That's right? great for when I'm smiling at people. That's what everyone's thinking. He wants to fuck me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone to smile at. No, nah, I'm gonna stop doing it because everyone's just assuming I want to fuck him. I should stop smiling at babies then on the tube. <laughs> Do you think that mental health issues like equal weakness? If you recognise it, it doesn't. The issue that we have in our oh, society okay. now is that I think everybody's mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. I think we all go online yeah. and we say stuff like, yeah, next time you won't get me and put that up. <laughs> but they're not talking to you. They're talking to someone who's probably not on social media, right? <laughs> yeah. But that's their outlet. <laughs> and they'll be like, you know, in life, you need to respect others. Yeah, yeah. You read and you go, <laughs> I just liked your picture. I just like I just liked your picture. If that's not respect, but that's because everybody feels like that's their outlet. Everyone wants to be a shrink, but at the same time they also need shrinks. It is crazy <laughs> out here. So my thing is, it's about recognizing first that is mental health. Yeah. That's what I think. There's people that are actually going through stuff. Yes. And their outlet is social media. But this is what I keep saying. What I would class um, like as mental health is not what I see it classed as nowadays. Like, I see a lot of people with like, they're going through an emotional moment and they're saying, I have mental health, mental health issues. issues. And it's just like, no, 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 you're just heartbroken. <laughs> and it's okay. No, 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 it's just like, it's okay. That's of course, you gotta, you gotta like, take the right steps so you don't, it doesn't lead to a bigger mental health issue. But this is why you need friends, man. You need there friends, you people to talk to, man. Because oh. then, if you don't have an outlet, just like you were saying with the Twitter and the social media, it could lead to bigger problems, man. I keep it real, my friends, man. We're in the, you know group yeah. chats get excited, innit? Everyone oh, yeah. You're in group chats, yeah, and you don't realise that you're inflicting a big issue on your boys, because you're all talking about the fact that you're all sleeping with the buffest girls in the world, yeah? <laughs> there's 20 of you in the group chat, and it's like, guess what I did? I guess mean, what I did? And there's that one why guy, ain't doing none of he that. doesn't even know the way to his penis. He doesn't even know. He has never seen his penis before. In fact, <laughs> when he looks, I'm telling you, brother, you know what I mean? You gotta let your boys know, bro. Don't be like us. Be you. Encourage. But no, men that make it like, you have to be the guy. <laughs> if you're not the guy out of all the guys, then you're not the guy. Yeah. And that's the pressure. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the pressure. 